Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are going to take a look at the Korg Module Pro and the Ivory Grand. There are two there are two Ivory Grand in-app purchases inside a uh, module. There's the I'll just show you quickly. There's the um let's see if I did it here. Do, 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 do. There's the uh, Ivory Mobile American D and also the uh let's see a bit further along i think there's another one and there's the ivory mobile grand so the marked in the actual browser here you'll see next to the actual uh patch name there is the little ivory logo and then if you scroll a little bit further up of course it gets into the uh amd which is the american d which is still uh, one of the ivory purchases so we'll just start with the Ivory Grand Piano. Hope you are all okay. Uh, if anybody's watching here, can they just uh, leave a comment and say that they can hear me okay and we can uh, proceed uh, as normal. Okay, so let's get off this. So, ah, oh, thanks, Sam. Brilliant, thank you. Thanks, Darren. It's, uh, I think it's a, um, I think it's a very, very good piano, and it's AUV3, of course.
cave forward slash Henrod. Oh, thank you, Peanut Cram.
Oh, thanks, Roberto. Hope you were all, all, all well as well, as well. All well as well, well, well. So don't forget, there will be no live stream for me tonight because I'm going over to watch Jamie Malander's live stream at 8 p.m. UK time. So I hope that some of you will join us over there for Jamie's first live stream, yes. Hi, Dean. Nice one, Sam. We'll still see you there. Thanks, Kev. <laughs> Better not play any more of that.
note, tough note, tough note. latency bow not with iPads um, if you like if play if you're playing audio and of course there's a uh, it's not noticeable latency this is extremely fast I wouldn't be able to play it if it had any latency it did me head in I thought it might be. So now we move on to the second IAP, which is the uh, American American uh, Ivory <coughs> D. The American the American Ivory D. Yes, yes. Um, anyway, so let's say uh, my fingers are killing me now. Um, my my fingers were freezing to start with, so we just turn it. It's been at sixteen degrees. I can't believe it. It's freezing cold, which is not conducive to playing the piano. My hands are warmed up now, and now they're just aching. <laughs> Gotta play through the pain. Uh, they've got uh, 
no no look there's there's two sets of effects uh, if you want to add but you can turn off the effect so if we turn off the uh level for the reverb You can also set up the velocity curve. I'm just going to tell you what, I'll try and make this a little bit darker so you can see. You can set up the velocity curve. I think, yeah, you can go exponential or uh, logarithmic as well. So leave it on linear. Um, what else can you do? Get some info, look. <laughs> settings. I don't know if you can see the settings because of the brightness. Um, but you have background, the Bluetooth MIDI. Sync modes internal at the moment. You've got MIDI CCs, master tuning. So you can set the master tuning and anything you want. MIDI channel, tempo, that's really hard. And then in the other parts of module, because module is huge. Like I said, I don't think you can see that. I don't know if I can actually get it dark enough that maybe you can. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you can just about see that, yeah? And then there's advanced settings and it takes you, like Sam said, to the um, settings tab. And then the audio latency here is set on 256. I, I mean, to be honest with you, I'd stick it on 512. I wouldn't notice any difference if I went back to the app. In fact, I'll leave it on 512 and go back to the app and there. Uh, Turn the effect back up. The, 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 it's got some nice modulation effects. We can put all the different effects on, like, um, we could put, uh, let's say, Poly 6 Chorus on here. Suggested retail price. What are you looking at, Bo? This is an iPad app, mate. About 30 quid. Oh, no, no, I don't know the exact price. I'm sure someone will tell you. Sam will oh, look, I guess. So my APs, which had about a fiver. Must be the VST for the PC. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I don't think it I definitely ain't for the PC. It might be for Mac. Yeah, 40 quid. And then there's, there is some IAPs. Loads of, loads of effects and stuff. There are your mod, mod effects, and you've got some reverb, you've got some tape echo. And some control. Yeah, at least call Gav sales. <laughs> Lovely pianos. I mean, if you, if you just buy module, I can't see the screen out, it's too dark. I'll have to brighten up a bit. If you just buy module, you get a load of stuff with it anyway. You don't need to buy the, the IAPs if you don't want to. Oh, see you later, Wojtek. Thank you.
never I never read all the technical stuff because like you're never going to understand it. <laughs> it's just a programmer. I just go with how it sounds. You know, if it sounds nice, it's fine. Later, Sam. Thanks for joining. Nearly finished now, anyway. <laughs> They struck the like, folks. Please strike the like. <laughs> it is appreciated.
No, this keyboard is four octaves, look. Oh, on the iPad. Um, yeah. You wouldn't really want to play that, would you? <laughs> Do you know what I mean?
his pack we're playing now, Bo, is uh, is is one point seven gig, so tiny for the quality of the piano. What, in your opinion, is the best quality piano for iOS? Good question, David. Uh, this is good. It's probably one I use most. I also love some of the acoustic pianos in Pure Synth, and I also think Ravenscroft is extremely good as well. Yeah, you, you, yeah, Ravenscroft. You guys are very good piano. Joe uses Ravenscroft, and Colin favours Ravenscroft. This gives you a bigger range of pianos, but it gives you a lot of other stuff as well, so... Very well sampled. Yeah, I've done quite a few Ravenscroft videos.
last the last one in this pack is the synth pad one No, oh, yeah, it's uh, a it's uh, a UV three Kev. Yeah. I uh, module is a UV three. It's one or two apps of by called that and um, uh, Electribe Wave. I've done demos of it as an a UV three, but that hasn't been a UV three that long. There you go. Uh, thank you for joining me this afternoon uh, in the UK, that is. Don't forget, I'm not live streaming tonight because I'm going to watch Jamie's first live stream ever. Jamie Malander. So, you know, Jamie Malander, uh, his channel, he will be live streaming. So let's go over there and give him some support for his first one. Eh? And his others, of course. Let you say to our to each other for a few minutes. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not a patron, please consider becoming one. Uh, it'll cost you as little as a dollar a month. We don't have a tier system, so anyway, you can pay what you can afford, and you have access to everything we have going on though. And uh, yes, top job. I will see you late. Well, I won't see you later this evening, but I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. I'll see you over at Jamie's channel. See you later. Ta-da.